Hey everybody, welcome to La 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 with Brandis. It has been a very, very long time since I have posted. It has been about two years. And, I and ironically, the last video that I posted was the stay at home mom tag. And I thought that that was very appropriate because basically these last two years, I have just been focusing on being a mom and really spending time with my family. And I think more than anything, really, really being a mom, really not running away from um, the guilt, not running away from the responsibilities and the sacredness and the um, peace of taking care of a home and just really, really settling in something that I wasn't necessarily doing before. Okay, so I, I think, think the main things that I want to discuss today are basically where I'm going future of this channel, kind of what's going on in my life right now. I also have exciting news to share of um, a self-published book that I did with The Climb, which has been on this channel, so I can't wait to talk to you about that. And then just kind of wrapping up. So this video is gonna be pretty informal, but um, oh yeah, and I also wanna, I'm gonna wanna show you the inside of the actual guided journal in actual workbook journal form so you can go ahead and see the inside of it. So started Christian life coaching classes, which is something that I have mentioned about in previous videos. And I am doing it at the Professional Christian Coaching Institute. And I'll go ahead and link information of that program below. It's a phenomenal program for anyone maybe wanting uh, to become a life coach or interested in it. Um, I took my first class um, that was in the summertime. It started in August. I will be starting another class in January. And I have about five classes to take. I have many clinical hours to do before I go ahead and um, get certified as a, um, as a Christian life coach. So it is a long journey. I probably won't be done until 2022, but I am a coach in training right now for a smaller fee. I am um, taking clients on and doing life coaching. So that is something that I am here and available for. It I think been. I'm gonna be rethink rethinking my channel name. Um, I've already gotten, I feel sent, sent to my heart, right? Um, what I want my coaching business name to be. And I think I have come to step into a new day, Christian Life Coaching um, LLC, if I end up getting an LLC. So you may notice, I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I may start to change my name on YouTube, also on Instagram. Um, if you are new to this video here, I have a Instagram uh, page at Love Above All with Brandis as well. So if that's if you're not following me there, you can follow me there as well. Um, I'm posting on there again. I have a lot of good inspirational quotes and encouragement on that page as well. You may see on this channel videos along those lines um, of encouragement and and you know. Christian life coaching is a whole other thing. You know, I, I think just even talking about it just so you can understand it better might be a video that I will post as well. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what the content will be um, on this channel as I move forward. So we're just kind of in flux right now trying to figure that out. Okay, so just to give you a little bit of background as to, um, again, how this book came to be, how the Guided Journal even came to be, this is something that if you have been following me, following me for a while, you can look back at some of my old videos, but um, you know, I'm at a point now where I can look back and realize things I've been through. You know, I had some trauma when I was younger. I had, you know, experienced some things and then one of the big clenchers were me having my two children. They were both premature. Um, Estella was born so quickly and so fast. I was on bed rest with Bryson. Um, there was just such, such a sense of grief and guilt after the birth of my children because I felt like it was my fault. I felt like I should have been able to control um, the way they came into this world. Um, there were so many other things in motherhood happening that I couldn't do. I mean, I'm sure I was very, very stuck at that time in my life after having my children. I lost my identity as a teacher. I, you know, failed in my mind as being a mother. And it took me a long time to really build back up to 
having that confidence. I feel like God was just helping me along the way and, and I was writing and I was journaling and I've been journaling for other, forever since I was 16. And piece by piece, little by little, I was able to create this book that not only I feel brought me out of a stuck place to more of a free place, because you know, as you write, it also guides you to people and helpers and things you should be doing. So writing in this guided journal, it's not just about the writing, but it's about the information that you really can put down on paper that comes out of your soul, comes out of your spirit, um, the nudges and things that you get from God through this process to lead you to that growth, to lead you to that healing, to lead you to these wonderful, amazing, beneficial experiences. I would say the next thing that I really want to share with you is something that I'm so incredibly excited about. And that is the fact that I recently self-published The Climb. Um, I had to just do it. I had to pull the trigger. I'm, it takes me so long. I mean, it's like, I mean, I did it. I'm very happy, very, very happy with the content. I just made my own cover and kind of made it easier. I'd love to kind of uh, have something more professional in the future, but I really believe in this material and this content. And it's something that I just so wanted to, to hold and have as a tangible product. And I still know that it is going to be extremely, extremely helpful um, to others in whatever form it is in. And I think that's a little side note, you know, to just, yeah, to just do it. Cause I can wait forever. I can wait forever for it to be absolutely perfect, to never find an error, to never do anything. So if you want to learn from me in any fashion, it's like, just, just try it out. If you can just try it out. And I'm sure if you look back at all my videos, you can tell that, you know, I'm constantly just trying to try things out, but I am so excited about this. Um, I will go ahead and post any purchase information in the description box below. Um, this all started out on this YouTube channel, so I will post that as well. Now it's evolved over time and it is a little bit different, but it basically, this whole um, guided journal, which I so strongly believe in, and I think it can be very helpful to your life. It can be helpful to bring you closer to God, to bring you closer to yourself, um, to really help um, remove possible blocks or barriers that are in your way as you are trying to move forward in your life. But basically it went from YouTube to me doing it with a mom's group and kind of teaching the material from YouTube, putting it in a PowerPoint, um, and then teaching it. But then I just wanted something tangible, right? Cause I had people, um, within the group, bring their own paper, bring their own pens and everything. But I really wanted something to to hold and touch as well and i think all the participants were like yes that would be absolutely fantastic so they had a lot of good feedback and input so basically i took everything on the powerpoint and everything that i taught and then went ahead and now put it into this book right here i'm going to go show you exactly what this experience would be like in this book if this is something that you're interested in if it's something that you're wanting to do this year for just some time for yourself reflection time worship time where you can listen to music, um, time to really start thinking about your goals and your dreams. I think this is a fantastic tool, an opportunity for you to do so. This is about a six week uh, program, I would say, and every day you're doing something different and it might take you five to 10 minutes, but it's a, gonna be five to 10 minutes that are worth it, that are going to be an investment into yourself, into your soul, into your spirit, into your relationship with God, into your relationship with self, and it's going to be fantastic. So All right, so I just wanted to show you a quick view of what the climb is. This is the front cover. I have a proof copy right now. It says not for resale, but the title, subtitle is right there as I open it up. I just have the title and the subtitle is a heart-centered Christian guided journal, find contentment, purpose, and direction for your life. When you open it up, you will find a volume at a glance. And this is basically um, the book we have right now is volume one. So it states all the themes and it also talks about kind of where you would be personally if this is where you wanted to start. Um, volume two, three, and four is not self-published yet, but I will be getting to that. They are already written and ready to go. The themes um, are here for volume two. And then this is basically, again, maybe where you are personally, if this is where you'd wanna start. You don't necessarily have to start with number one. I think you could start in different places, 
but we'll have to wait till they're actually published to do so. And then this is volume three, and then we have volume four right here. Um, you'll notice you have the table of contents right here and it talks about each week's theme, right? Each week there is a different theme. Each week has a journaling type of experience um, daily. I have an introduction letter here. I have a how-to guide if you're going to do it alone, if you're going to do it with the group and the goals of the actual climb experience. And then I go a little bit more personal as to how it is best to, to use the climb. Um, on day one, I share with you what to do on day two, day three. So I give you instruction and just for you to feel that I'm almost there with you um, as you do your journaling. Then I talk about what heart-centered journaling is in my opinion. And I just want this to, I guess, be an aid to you to help you realize that writing is very personal and you don't have to be perfect and you need to just let yourself be free and to go with it and to just write whatever is on your heart and to challenge yourself to keep going. If you just want to write, you know, one little word when it comes to the prompt, but just challenge yourself to just keep writing and to keep letting yourself um, be open to the process. I have a preface right here and some testimonials from when I did it on YouTube and when I did it actually with my mom's group. And then we start. So with week one, we have the theme and then we have day one, which is my, which is the heart to heart. So this is going to be where I interweave my own story with you and encouragement. So you'll be able to kind of just journey along with me throughout these four volumes. And then at the end, I have a prayer where you can go ahead and put your name in there. Each prayer is individualized and it is different. It's not generic and it really speaks to the theme and to the topic. And then you're able to kind of jot down or write or journal anything you'd like to concerning the prayer. Day two is prepare your heart and we talk about the theme and I'm just asking you to just take five minutes you know out of your morning and just meditate on the theme of this word right just to look at that word to journal in the heart what that word means to you and your current circumstances that's day two and then day three we have read where you can um, grab your bible and you can look up the bible verse you can read what comes before it what comes after some context give yourself a little meat there and then really ask yourself what's god saying to me through that bible verse that i would like to jot and write down in this space right here day four i love this one it's where i you know hand picked just special songs that i feel tied in with the with the theme and you are able to just you know listen google on youtube or wherever you can and look up the song for example i have testify by need to breathe so i have the um artist and again just to breathe and to think and to let it just flow and write down anything that comes to your mind as you are listening to that specific song day five we get into brainstorming where i just start to ask you some questions where you don't have to you know write too much or whatever however that works for you you can just kind of just jot down anything you're thinking or feeling you can draw pictures you can write words whatever it is and you are just kind of getting um getting your muscles flexible getting things moving along before you actually dedicate yourself to just openly write and then day six is our writing day where i suggest that you put on some peaceful music maybe you set a timer and you answer that the topic question and you really just put all your heart and soul in there you really invite god in and you just start to write and go to town and no the the longer you write doesn't mean it's better not at all i just provided you i think with you know four to five pages for you to go ahead and finish that experience and then lastly um, day seven is where you can start to apply i maybe will present a challenge to you of some sort something that you can do um, throughout that next week to further move you forward to the next theme or the next topic or the next thing that is happening in your life and your current circumstances. And then we go right into week two and we start all over again, but every week is different. So it means that I have a different story interwoven 
I will have a different prayer. I will have, you know, a different theme, a different Bible verse, a different song to listen to in your quiet time in the morning, different brainstorming questions. Some we might have more than we did before. And then you will have a different topic of uh, journaling, what you would like to journal about. And then ultimately you will have a different challenge on day seven or some type of application. So this is the climb and at the very end, um, we have just a congratulations that you finished this first volume. And I um, ask you to write like maybe three things that you really learned or that you wanna take away. And then you are welcome to go to volume two if you wanna proceed and move on further. And hopefully, um, I will get that out soon, but this is how it is. This is what the climb is about. And I pray if this speaks to you that you definitely give it a try. I'm just so excited to, I think, be just on camera again. It's been a long time. I'm feeling comfortable. So we're gonna see where this is gonna go and how this is gonna be and what I'm gonna film about and just how this will evolve. But there's a lot going on. There's so many things going on and I feel like I just have to bring it down. I have to do one little thing at a time and just keep moving forward into the direction and the destiny that the Lord has called me. And I encourage you to do the same. Follow those nudges, follow those callings. This book can help you do that. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye.